Yeah, we've got a lot of guys mixed in, and we got a lot of guys playing a lot of different positions. So some sometimes guys are a little more. You're an X always, or you're a Z always. We've got some guys who've been able to switch positions and kind of see some different different looks from what they're used to, maybe uh, in the run game and the pass game. But just individual guys that are standing out. You know, KJ Osborne's the Jalen Naylor's. Um, it's been great to see Jalen Rager with with a full install from ground zero to come out here and be, you know, have a, have a little bit better chance to kind of get the details. And just in general, the details of the whole pass game, I think, have been uh, greatly improved because now we're going into year two and we're kind of reinstalling things and detailing things as opposed to trying to teach the whole scheme. How is uh, really Jalen? Jalen's a really good player. Uh, you know, every opportunity that he kind of gets to show out, he just he shows up. Uh, we put together a lot of uh, install tapes, you know, to teach the concepts as we go. And some, of, a lot of the things, whether it's the opportunities against Chicago or Green Bay that he got to play, or whether it's from practice clips from last year, he just shows up a lot as far as doing the right thing, being where he's supposed to be, and then having the athletic athletic ability to make the play. So uh, really pleased with where he's at. I think he's going to he's gonna have to be. Uh, but yes, uh, Ty's, Ty's obviously a great athlete, uh, reason why we brought him here. But uh, he's a real pro. He's He's been working really hard at it, as, as have that whole room. I mean, it's a really kind of special group of guys as far as when you're talking about Alex, Kane, and Ty, and then of course CJ being involved with that as well. Um, but Ty's a guy that we're, you know, we're continuing to give him opportunities both in the run game and the pass game because of some of the things he can do coming out of the backfield and catching the football. And uh, he's, uh, he's getting better every day. Uh, well, I think for a quarterback to come in and, and especially you know, if you're not thrust into the role right away and you're getting limited reps, uh, just to see him out here kind of following Nick Mullins' lead. And right now they're out on the field going through the script, the plays that he did not get, you know, walking through it, even if it's just visualization or mental. He's got a young receivers out there right now and they're going through the plays. Um, there's a lot to learn in a short time, but but so far he's progressed really well. He's He's learning how to play, you know, in an NFL system. Uh, they had a good pro. They have a, got a, got a great program at BYU, and and their system's great for what they do. But there's definitely some different things that he's had to work on with footwork and kind of tying your feet to the reads, uh, which is a little different, I think, than maybe what he's done. Uh, well, have you seen the guy? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's he's obviously a, a physical presence. I mean, he's over 270 pound tight end. He's a, he's a very large man, really long arms, huge hands. Uh, he's strong. He's got all those things going for him. Kind of the interesting thing about uh, Josh is coming out. He was really more of a pass catcher. You know, it was like, oh, he's got the size. We're gonna have to teach this guy how to block if we were to bring him in uh, because he caught a lot of passes at San Jose and uh, he ran four or five something. You know, so he's got. When he gets that, that train rolling, uh, he's just a tough cover just due to his size, his length, his catch radius. Uh, we had a play down the goal line uh, a couple days back where a linebacker had great coverage on him, and he just, it was basketball. He just boxed him out. He extended his arms, and there was just no way the kid could cover it. So um, we're excited about what he can do both in the run game and the pass game, but uh, certainly that physical presence in the run game is, uh, is going to help us. It, it makes you check all your answers and make sure you have answers uh, against, you know, I, I think it's one of the more challenging schemes that, in the league. Um, and, you know, I'd rather practice against it and then and then get less in a game as far as pressures and all out pressures and pressure looks that they're not always bringing pressure. You know, that's kind of the beauty of it. It's they've got a lot of things that are really from different looks that give you give you some challenges as far as your protections or run game. 
uh, they talk you out of things where you're saying, we're just not going to get work on that against these guys. Um, but we're also figuring out our better answers than maybe what we had when we played, you know, from his disciple, Josh Boyer, uh, running a similar scheme. You know, we've already got better answers than we did in that game playing Miami just from facing them day in and day out. Well, I think, I think number one, I mean, r run game and pass protection, I think the continuity up front is a huge plus. Uh, you know, the depth that we have and the continuity, having these guys back for another year together is, is huge. And then, uh, you know, we worked really hard, as all the, all the teams do and coaches in the offseason, trying to narrow down now that we really know our personnel better. You know, we kind of came in with – some version of LA's offense that we were making our own, but you're learning the players, you're learning their skill sets, you're learning what kind of player CJ Ham is, you know, to use 21, which I don't know, I don't think we were in one snap. Uh, we didn't have a fullback in LA. So, um, you know, all of those things are helping you and then limiting some of the schemes that we really said, hey, this was kind of fluff, this was extra, let's get rid of this, let's focus in on these concepts. And uh, I, I think it's showing out there. It's, it's challenging, and, and you see it out there. We just had a little developmental period for young guys. And uh, uh, the one thing we're not going to do, though, is we're not going to you know, sugarcoat and make it vanilla. Uh, we're going to push these guys. We're going to move them around in different spots just because we have a belief that once you know the formations, you've got to know the formations, but you're going to learn conceptually when you're put in these spots. You're not going to be always in this spot running this route on this concept. We're going to keep mixing it up uh, sometime, because that's what we'll do when we game plan. So we, we want it to feel the same for certainly the guys that are playing, but the young guys kind of have to play some catch up. It's, I mean, I, I couldn't be more pleased with our pick and, uh, the fact that, you know, he played through the whole year and he worked through a few growing pains as a rookie, as any rookie in this league, uh, particularly that offensive line where, you know, the slightest false step, a receiver can get away with a false step most times. But the slightest thing when you're inside, especially those interior three, and you've lost. So um, the way he handled that, you know, he wasn't phased by it. He didn't blink by any of that stuff. He just kept trying to get better. And uh, he's in great shape. I think he looks really good, you know, looks good coming in and uh, expect big things from him. Thanks. Thanks, guys.